what we're going to do is demonstrate Pioneer's commitment to standability today through looking at um, our work with the Boreas root screening process. But what we've done is develop this machine to give us a consistent 40 to 80 mile per hour wind. And this allows us to screen our hybrids and our germplasm every year. And so now, when a hybrid from Pioneer becomes commercial, it has gone through this process, of, through the Boreas process, probably 25 or 30 times in order to meet the expectations of our customers. Okay, what we're showing in this particular area of the field is a group of hybrids we call the R1 stage, which is the first year a hybrid um, gets into our commercial pipeline. This field is classic for providing uh, instant genetic variations. You see your genetics instantly out here and the differences they make. Um, and that's, that's one of the neatest things we do in research here because research is such a long-term thing. You commit for a long time, but our Boris data and Boris is something we see instantly. The way the process works is you wet the root zone um, to it's saturated like you would have in a thunderstorm. And then we come back um, the next day and we basically bring the 65 mile an hour wind. And you can see very clearly that the root balls all rotate when they, uh -huh. when they root lodge. And that's a sign that that one has very weak roots. But this is a commercial hybrid that we're currently selling. Um, it is scored an eight for roots. And you can see uh -huh. it barely even phased it. It doesn't matter how good it is or how fast we want to get it to you. If it's not going to pass out here, we're not going to put right. it out to you guys. How much population do you have here? Just what you plant in the field? Um, 33, 36, 36. So, okay. yeah, we're always pushing the population because we always know that the growers are always You guys are going to push, push us. The so. Yeah, so we need to be ahead of you. We need to be ahead of you five years in order so that when the hybrid comes out in five years, it's going to do what you want it to do. It's prepared for your field. Products that come out of Missouri are most likely to fit in Missouri and western Iowa into Nebraska. Um, and hybrids that come out of, or inbreds that come out of Illinois are more likely to work in Illinois because the breeders there are breeding are selecting for the traits in those areas. That's why we really like Pioneer Corteva's strategy of localized breeding because we are here and we see what's going on here and we know what our customers need and uh, we know the diseases, we know the climates, we know what's happening here where um, if Gary was trying to do this from four states away, well, we may not know. I really like it because I farm here. Right. You know, everything I saw today was really interesting. I've heard them talking about the wind machine and all that, but it's kind of amazing that they do it at two different times when it's smaller and then when it's bigger. That's something you really need to know. And I can come over and ask for advice, agronomy and the hybrids and what they see in them and what's coming down next, the next 1197 or whatever. And you can see how far out they are and what they got coming. And it's, it helps quite a little bit.